Hello, Esther. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello. I can also hear you. Please click on the share screen button so that we can see your presentation. Uh, yes. Um, it's loading. And if I, see I it. click on this, can you see the full screen or is it still on Google? It, it's full screen. It looks perfect. And just okay. go ahead. Great. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Esther from the team Braint, uh, and we're from the Netherlands. We did the dream painting project. Um, a short introduction to our project is that um, our, our idea was to collect EEG waves from sleeping participants and generate uh, paintings using AI uh, with that EEG data. So an example from a, an AI generated uh, painting would be um, this painting that I'm showing on the screen now. It's generated with two words, the words happy dream. And then we also got quite the opposite with um, different words like scary nightmare. Uh, so the paintings can really differ depending on the input they get. The uh, more detailed idea of uh, what we wanted to do is collect EEG data on sleeping participants in particular, extract features from that EEG data, and uh, normalize that, oh, uh, or sorry, <laughs> extract the features from the data and feed uh, those into our VQ GAN uh, uh, model. And then in the end, uh, get artworks out of that model. Uh, I first wanna show the results before I go into detail on how we got them, just so that everyone has a clearer picture of uh, what I am talking about. So, this is a short one minute video that I will be showing you, uh, showing um, a loop of paintings that we gathered from one of our participants uh, EEG data. Uh, the participant was sleeping for three and a half hours uh, and it's about one minute. So uh, it's, it's a lot of uh, uh, dream in one video. Uh, you can't really see very drastic changes if you just look at the video. However, if you compare the first painting to the very last painting, there is a drastic uh, contrast between the concepts and the colors used in the paintings. And that has to do with the brain waves that we uh, got from the EEG. Uh, so as you can see, it now kind of changes into, oh, sorry. It now kind of changes into a different environment, and that all depends on uh, the activity in the left or right side of the brain of the sleeping participant. Um, we also noticed that there were a lot of faces in a lot of the paintings uh, and data, and uh, at a certain point, letters also started to show up. That wasn't the case in the beginning a lot of the times. Uh, so this is the end of the video. And I just wanted to uh, pay attention to this was where it kind of started the paintings and this is how it ended. So it's, it's quite a contrast in what we ended up with. Um, then our implementation. So how did we get there? Uh, we uh, extracted EEG data and to read that or, or um, uh, sorry, to process that we used Python API. Uh, and then uh, we extracted the power spectral density for every channel. Uh, so to get the value that we could normalize and then uh, extract features from our data set that we made. So the data set is shown uh, on the right side of the screen. Uh, this is a data set that we created and uh, it would pick words according to the emotional valence and the brain region that we detected the activity in. Uh, and those words would then be fed into the model that would create uh, the paintings. So that's how we uh, turned the EEG waves, the brain activity, into actual paintings. In reflection, uh, a few obstacles that we were running into was that um, there wasn't a lot of data on uh, EEG, uh, well, uh, EEG activity while dreaming. Um, REM sleep was supposedly very close to uh, when you're awake, the activity, but there wasn't a lot of data on it. So emotion classification was quite difficult. Uh, we also had some technical challenges um, because we wanted to implement everything in real time so that we could have the sleeping participant and process the data at the same time, which uh, meant we still had to kind of synchronize our devices. But overall, we're very happy with the results uh, and we think it's, it's great what uh, we could process uh, or what we could produce in the end. And uh, yeah, this was our team working on it. <laughs> we, we put our best efforts into it. Um, our reference are shown on the screen. And uh, yeah, that was my presentation. <laughs>